Sunset Bay is among the most popular swimming beaches in Southern Oregon. In recent years, health officials have grown concerned about the number and frequency of water contact advisories issued for the bay. Water contact advisories warn swimmers that the water may be contaminated with fecal coliform bacteria. Possible sources for the bacteria include septic tanks, a campground, dogs, seabirds, marine mammals, or other wildlife. Scientists from the South Slough National Estuarine Research Reserve are leading efforts to find the source of the bacteria. To do so, researcher Ben Groupie uses a variety of techniques to study circulation in the bay. The state of Oregon tests bacteria at all of the beaches which are commonly used. There's some beaches that tend to have water contact advisories more often than others, and Sunset Bay happens to be one of those places where, for whatever reason, there are a number of times when the fecal coliform count is higher than is recommended by the EPA. We'd like to find out what are the sources of that bacteria in the water. Um, is it marine? Is it coming from the ocean into the bay? Or is it terrestrial in origin that's coming from runoff down the creek that feeds into the bay? We'd also like to learn what happens to the bacteria once it's in the bay. And to do that, we need to know something about the bay circulation. We need to know a little bit about water currents. We need to get an idea of how long does it stay in the bay? What is the flushing rate? Does it circulate for 24 hours and it gets flushed out to sea? Or does it maybe stay in the bay for up to a week? Anchored on the floor of the bay is a device called an acoustic Doppler current profiler. Like a submarine sonar, it produces sounds that reflect from objects in the water. Echoes from particles at different depths bounce back to the instrument and paint a picture of how the currents move in a narrow column of water above the device. When it's time to collect the data, the research vessel Pluteus plucks the profiler from the bay. But the profiler just tells them about one tiny spot in the entire bay. To learn more, they trade the Pluteus for kayaks and paddle out into the bay, toting bags of numbered oranges. Oranges float low in the water, out of the wind, and they are easy to spot as they drift even under dull gray skies. Lost oranges will decompose, leaving no environmental threat. As the oranges drift on the currents, Group A and volunteer Bob Sleeth plot their approximate positions on maps of the bay. Research director Stephen Rumrill says the work being done at Sunset Bay will help public health officials understand what is causing the contamination and may also help prevent people from becoming ill.